Hyberflex products are once again another Duraflex exclusive in the flooring industry. At Duraflex, we have taken steps to design overall systems that now take the key traits of individual products and then multiply the benefits to the customer. By utilizing positive features that complement each other, your end result is a spectacular finished floor product that competitors simply cannot match. The contractor not only saves time through improved labor steps, but also controls his project liability to moisture transmission with the addition of a special polycrete base coat. For today's application, we are presenting Hyberflex MQ with a colored quartz broadcast. For purposes of this instruction video, the MQ system will be similar to both Hyberflex MB, which is a neutral broadcast, and Hyberflex MC, which is our vinyl chip broadcast. Always be sure to read the MSDS and application instructions before starting any job. Always use proper personal protective equipment. After checking for moisture vapor transmission, the preferred method for preparing the concrete is shot blasting. Grind the edges of the floor in hard to reach areas with the dustless hand grinder. For this application, you will need a high speed drill with an 850 RPM minimum, a 4 inch dispersion mixing paddle, a half inch V notch squeegee, flat trowels, an 18 inch loop roller, clean 2 and 5 gallon pails, a 3.5 inch Jiffler mixing paddle, 18 inch 3 8 nap rollers, and 3 inch chip brushes. Also needed are spiked shoes, a high speed fan, brooms, a vacuum, and rubber gloves. Using a 4 inch dispersion paddle and proper mixing techniques will ensure the Polycrete SL is thoroughly mixed and free of clumps. Select a convenient mix area and protect the floor from spillage. The more organized the mix station is, the less likely you are to have a mix error. For this system, no priming is required. However, very porous substrates may be pre-primed with Polycrete TF to prevent materials from being prematurely absorbed. Be sure to have enough manpower to complete all loop rolling within 12 minutes at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. For the first broadcast, you will need two people mixing, one person hand trawling, one person squeegeeing, one person loop rolling, and one person broadcasting. Apply Polycrete SL with a half inch notch squeegee at 55 to 60 square feet per kit to achieve 1 8 inch thickness. Loop roll thoroughly and broadcast quartz at 0.8 pounds per square foot. When loop rolling, be sure to roll in all directions until the squeegee lines disappear. Polycrete SL comes in three part kits, the resin, hardener, and aggregate. Start off by pouring the entire resin component into the mixing container. Scrape along the sides of the resin pail with a paint stick, making sure no amount of residue remains. Pour the entire hardener component into the mixing container. Mix the resin and hardener well for 30 seconds. Gradually add the entire contents of the aggregate while continuing to mix to avoid clumping. Continue to mix thoroughly for one minute. Never use an aggregate bag that is wet or broken as clumping or blistering may occur. And always add the entire bag of aggregate to the mix or blistering will occur. Immediately pour the entire batch onto the floor in an 8 to 12 inch ribbon. Spread the material with a half inch v-notched squeegee and hand trowel the edges. Pull the squeegee east to west spreading materials uniformly. Apply even pressure on the squeegee while keeping a slow and steady pace. Immediately roll with an 18 inch loop roller to eliminate lines and help release air. Pour each successive batch 6 to 8 inches into the previously placed material. The time window at which Polycrete SL is broadcast is extremely critical. Too early and the surface may become uneven. Too late and the aggregate may not penetrate into the matrix surface. Prior to broadcasting, wait approximately 10 minutes at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 minutes at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, or 20 minutes at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. This will be approximately 6 to 10 batches behind the wet line. Broadcast the aggregate up and into the air, dispersing evenly and vertically at an approximate rate of 8 tenths of a pound per square foot. 
Allow the Polycrete SL to cure for a minimum of 6 hours at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Sweep up the excess sand and be sure to vacuum around the edges. For the second broadcast, apply G201 with an 18 inch 3 8 or half inch nap roller at 80 square feet per gallon over Q28 or 60 square feet per gallon over Q11 in broadcast courts at half a pound per square foot. For the second broadcast, you will need a separate person for each. Mixing, pouring and brushing, rolling and brushing, cross rolling, and broadcasting. This is also where you're going to have to switch over to the 3 inch Jiffler paddle. Every application of Krillaflex products requires some type of ventilation. Please check the Krillaflex ventilation guides for specific details and instructions. Pictured is the high speed fan used on this project to exhaust air. Begin by checking the substrate temperature. Then, check the Krillaflex mixing chart to determine the appropriate amount of Krillicure activator powder. Measure out one gallon of G201 in a measuring pail. Pour the contents into a separate mixing pail. Measure out the appropriate amount of Krillicure powder and mix for 45 seconds. Immediately after mixing, pour the contents onto the floor in a ribbon and begin cutting in. Roll east to west with light even pressure. Continue to apply the material in this manner until there is sufficient room to cross roll. Pour each new batch directly onto the wet edge. Wet out the roller, then immediately cross roll to eliminate lines and puddles. Overlap the roller 4 to 6 inches with each pass. Complete all cross rolling within 8 minutes. Broadcast into the wet material at half a pound per square foot. Do not over broadcast, only apply enough sand to cover the wet resin. Over broadcasting can result in the resin not curing properly. Keep broadcast 3 feet back from the wet working edge. This will make it easier for the roller man. Continue this process until the broadcast is complete. Allow the G201 to cure for one hour. Sweep up the excess sand and be sure to vacuum around the edges. For the first top coat, apply T301 with an 18 inch 3 8 or half inch nap roller cover at 80 square feet per gallon over Q28 or 60 square feet per gallon over Q11. For both top coats, you will need one person mixing, one person pouring, two people rolling and brushing, and one person cross rolling. Both top coats will be applied in exactly the same manner. However, for the purposes of this video, we will only be showing the final top coat. Measure out one gallon of T301 and pour it out into a mixing pail. Measure out the appropriate amount of Krillicure powder and mix for 45 seconds. Immediately after mixing, pour the contents onto the floor in a ribbon and begin cutting in. Roll east to west with light even pressure. Continue to apply the material in this manner until there is sufficient room to cross roll. Wet out the roller, then immediately cross roll to eliminate lines and puddles. Overlap the roller 4 to 6 inches with each pass. Complete all cross rolling within 8 minutes. Pour each new batch directly onto the wet edge. Continue this process until the top coat is complete. Apply the second top coat of T301 using the same process as the first coat. 
Apply the second top coat of T301 at 100 square feet per gallon for either Q28 or Q11. Allow the final top coat of T301 to cure for one hour. At this time, the floor is fully functional.